Do you think it's a little overkill to have all these cameras and lenses here to prove that I've spent a lot of money on Canon so that they listen to me? I, whatever, whatever, let's just start. Dear Canon, I'm both a filmmaker and a photographer that has built my business using tens of thousands of dollars worth of your cameras, lenses, and accessories. I've been using your gear for almost a decade now. I'm a paying member of Canon Professional Services, Platinum, and I've been reviewing your cameras here on YouTube, which have been watched over a million times so far. All that to say, I'm heavily invested into you both financially and professionally, and I wanna know what you're going to do in the future for us, creatives like me, to help us out. So here are five different things that I want from you, Canon, to do for us, your customers, in 2020 or beyond in the next few years and into this new decade. Number one, don't leave behind video shooters with your RF lens technology. Now I'm primarily a video shooter and I'm not really thinking of investing into any RF lenses until either you release a cinema style camera with an RF mount, kind of like what RED is doing with their Komodo, or you figure out for a way for us to adapt them to our other cinema camera bodies like the C200 or C100. Lenses are incredibly expensive investments, especially ones like your RF lenses. They're high quality, but that holy trinity of RF lenses, which all started over $2,000, it's gonna cost like seven or $8,000 just to get started. And buying lenses that only work with some of my equipment won't make financial sense for me, even if they're sharper or faster or smaller. So please, make an RF cinema camera body or find a way for me to adapt the RF lenses to an EF body. I know it might not work with flange distance or whatever, but it might be a nice upgrade to the existing camera bodies we've already invested. Full frame 4K video recording. Yes, I really do appreciate the 4K options in cameras like the EOS R, which are pixel for pixel readouts, which lead to a really high bitrate recording, and no more. I love it. But sometimes downscaling the full sensor really is important to get a wider angle shot that you need. Let's take vlogging for an example. To get a wide angle of view to vlog with, like a 16 millimeter equivalent, in a cropped 4K mode, even with the new 15 to 35 RF lens, it becomes about a 25 mil in 4K on the EOS R. So we really have three choices. We can film with a more cropped in shallow depth of field, or film with an EFS lens like the 10 to 18 with a minimum aperture of about 4.5, or we just have to film in 1080p, losing that extra resolution. So please give us the option to film full frame 4K and eventually 6K in your hybrid and stills cameras. Now on this one, I'm not gonna be alone. Number three, give us a 10-bit 422 codec on the C200. You go backwards all the time to create updated firmware to make autofocus work better on a camera or make it work with the new lens that was just released. And honestly, I've done my research, I've talked to a lot of people, and I cannot find a good reason why there isn't a 10-bit 422 codec in the C200. Everyone has been asking for it for almost three years now. The internals of a C200 can process Canon RAW light at 14-bit. It should be able to handle a simple 10-bit codec. And the only argument I've ever heard was that you didn't want to cannibalize sales of the C300 Mark II, which was a camera that had already been out two years before it was even announced that the C200 was coming, and anyone that really needed a 10-bit broadcast recording would have bought that camera already. To me, it's not just about needing files that can go to broadcast. I'm not putting stuff on television. But having a higher quality codec in a $7,500 camera than what comes in the $1,000 cameras would be nice. And yes, we know we can use Canon RAW Lite and transcode the raw footage from the CFast 2.0 cards, which are way more expensive and take up even more space, but there's still a lot of people using C200s to film, and there's still time to make this right. You gave us the XF-AVC codec, which is great, much better than MP4. I believe in you, I know you can do this. Please give us a firmware update that includes 10-bit 422 for the C200. Heck. Charge me for it if you want. I don't even care at this point. I'll pay hundreds of dollars just to get a better codec on the C200. Number four, fix your smartphone app. I'm sorry, but the Canon Camera Connect app, it's super buggy. Every time I try to use it with my EOS R, it either won't connect, disconnects randomly, or it fails during a transfer for some reason. Yes, I'm using the latest firmware on my camera. I have a new phone. I have the app updated to the newest version. I don't know what the problem is. Other camera manufacturers like Sony and Fuji, their apps work great. I've used them with a lot of different cameras. I don't have any complaints about those. The Canon app just doesn't work very well. Please hire some software developers and get this right. It really adds functionality to the camera to have an app that works well every time with it. And a quick one here, number five, put 24 frames per second in every resolution possible in every camera. 
I think you've learned this one already from going back and adding 24 frames per second to a bunch of cameras at the end of 2019, the EOS RP, the 90D, the G7X Mark II. But just to reiterate, people want to be able to film in 24 frames per second. So just put it in by all cameras by default, and when you release them, it'll have them, and you won't get backlash about it. I know, I know, it might sound like I'm being really harsh on you, Canon, but it's because I love you. You've been a great partner all these years. I'm not breaking up with you. We're, we're going to stay together. Your dual pixel autofocus, your gear liability, fantastic customer service, those have all kept me from switching to Sony or another brand these last few years as you've kind of taken your time to catch up on features and switching to mirrorless and kind of coming into current day technology for cameras. So I hope this feedback and this tough love encourages you to continue making us amazing equipment so we can go out in the world, capture our stories, and share them with the world. So thanks, Canon, for listening, if you did. Thanks, everyone else, for watching. I've been Caleb Logic. Cheers. For an in-depth look and a deeper review of the Canon cameras I use to run my business now, the Canon C200 and the Canon EOS R, you can check out my reviews of those in full right here on YouTube, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel right here.